Well, hello everybody, Dr. David Perlmutter here. Thank you for joining me. So many people seem to take uh, laxatives these days. And one of the types of laxatives that are, is really common uh, is called an osmotic laxative. What does it mean? It means you're basically taking something that has a lot of particles, and then when those particles are in the gut, that draws lots of fluid into the gut and helps people with their bowel movements. Uh, one of the most common chemicals that is used is called polyethylene glycol. Uh, a common uh, form of this is called Miralax. And we know that this represents the second most common uh, digestive-related medication uh, used in America. Well, is it a free ride to get uh, improvement in bowel movements by using this? Well, recently research carried out at Stanford University, a group of individuals, including Dr. Justin Sonnenberg, our a colleague, uh, reviewed what is the effect of these osmotic changes in the gut brought on by using this type of intervention, these types of medications, uh, in terms of a variety of things that he looked at. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let me be clear, this is a study that was done in mice. And what uh, the group found was that there were fairly dramatic changes seen in the gut bacteria that were, in fact, long-lasting. Uh, in addition, they found that there were significant changes in immune function and even changes to the very important mucus layer that lines the inside of the intestines. The study is called transient osmotic perturbation, causes long-term alteration to the gut microbiota. So what we can at least uh, indicate, uh, maybe the implication of the study, is that perhaps in humans, there are some changes that may not be favorable that are brought on uh, when people induce uh, bowel movements by taking this type of laxative. Uh, what can we do? We can increase our dietary fiber, for example, drink a lot more fluid, uh, and be careful with various types of medications that are chronically, rather that are typically associated with constipation uh, when used over a period of time. Again, it does look as if Americans are getting uh, very little fiber in their diets. Fiber we know is good uh, because it enhances uh, the contraction of the bowel. It also nurtures the gut bacteria and that aids in digestion as well. So word to the wise here, above all do no harm. And it looks like if we are to extrapolate to humans from this laboratory study, there may be something to be concerned about in terms of using uh, this type of laxative medication. I hope this information is helpful for you. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.